Wallace and I'm here today with another success story. I'm really excited about this one because this house sold in only 24 days, which is really great for this neighborhood. On top of that, it sold for full price, which was top dollar. So this has been a really awesome experience. And in addition, this house was the family home of the sellers for quite a few years. They have a lot of memories here. They raised their kids here for quite a while, and then they turned it over to some renters and things didn't go so well. So we completely redid the house and here's what they have to say about it. It's been a great home. We raised, we raised both our boys here. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> we had a lot of memories here of um, them. It's good times. Yeah. We moved across town and thought it would be a good idea to uh, to have a rental and try that out. Yeah, well, I mean, we thought, you know, they were good renters. You know, they didn't really call us that often for problems um, until the day they decided to move out because they were moving and then we came in and it was, <laughs> it was destroyed. It was like the worst. They kicked in every door frame, holes in every single wall of the house. They ripped up some of the carpet. Uh, yeah, it was really gross. Um, initially, I told her I just want to, I want to dump it. I want to just, for sale by owner, dump it. Sell to somebody as a fixer up and just get out of here. And then we were lucky enough for uh, Carrie to talk to us um, and kind of start to open our eyes to, to the potential, and I'm glad we did. She made the process really great and smooth, and um, she's very creative. It was as if you got a interior decorator along yeah. with um, a listing agent. Just your traditional um, light fixtures. I didn't realize how dated they were until I saw the replacement hanging up. Um, now I just think they're, um, they're eye-catching and beautiful. They're almost like a little pieces. Thanks to Carrie now we can actually enjoy the process of giving our first house to somebody else that might be their first house we never know but we get our memories back mm -hmm. we get to go on. There was so much that we had to do in this house I mean all new paint all new floors we were taking down mirrors that were wall mirrors that were typical of say the 90s there were just a lot of things that needed to be updated we had to paint the kitchen cabinets and all kinds of things, but the overall appearance was so great in the end. And this is what we do to get top dollar. And it always turns out that if you put your money in the right places, you always get a return on any money that you put in if you do it with the proper guidance. So I came in and we just determined that in the dining room, everything was great. Like I said, we painted everywhere. So that was already done and then we put new floors and then we furnished everything, completely staged the whole house. So we put the dining table and chairs and the curtains and all the furnishings that you see. Then onto the living room, we changed pretty much every light fixture in the house. And that really, bang for the buck, you get a lot of updating and a lot of appeal with the right light fixtures. Um, we went ahead and put a really cool ceiling fan in here. We took down the mirror on the back wall of this little bar area and really wanted to update it. So we got this distressed shiplap and it came out really cool. We went ahead and put some granite on here and painted the cabinets and put some really cool hardware. Now originally on this fireplace, the brick was red and so that completely had to change. So I went ahead and put a whitewash, completely updated and then just decorated with that farmhouse look. We put new curtains on the sides of the windows here. I would have preferred to go all the way up, but since the windows made that little curve, it was impossible to do. So we just went with the shorter curtains. Not my preference, but that's what we had to do. Now in the kitchen, we went ahead and painted the yellow oak cabinets, this beautiful white, brightened up the whole thing. We had a warmer granite to deal with, so we kept all the colors a bit warmer. The light fixture went with a dark iron and darker wood, but the style of it was so appealing that it was a great design feature. I think it worked out really well. Again, we went ahead and staged everything, furnishings and decor, and the whole thing really came together. The master bedroom, we went ahead and 
there was a dilemma, were we gonna put carpet? Were we gonna put the wood flooring? And we went ahead with the wood flooring because for the difference in price, it wasn't worth it. We went ahead and put the high curtains, the beautiful bedding, and this room came out really nice and luxurious. In the master bath, we went ahead and painted the cabinet and put a lighter type granite, and that came out really pretty and just dressed it up with a few decorations. Now, upstairs was a really great space, and a lot of it had to do with this loft area. So great for kids or guests to have a separate area to relax for themselves. That came out really beautiful, and we staged it fully furnished because we always want to show a use for a space. This is how you sell a space. Don't leave something like this undone. If there's no purpose for it visually, chances are the buyers are not going to imagine a purpose for it. This gives them the ability to imagine themselves living here and their kids hanging out on this sofa. It works really well. And then as far as the other bedrooms go, we just furnished it with the appropriate size bed for the space. And it came out really beautiful. Now as far as the exterior of the house, we gave it a fresh coat of paint and we painted the shutters a darker color, re-landscaped a little bit, didn't spend a ton of money, definitely got a huge return on this investment. And in the end, it all turned out so well. The seller's happy and if the seller's happy, I am so happy. Thanks for watching, I'm Carrie Lawless.